Hello, so in this video I will speak about uh, format materials. So materials are located in palette. You can see material symbol is here. So in material section we have several options. So sample materials is just uh, some sample materials which are provided automatically when you start a project and you can use it for your design. If you, if you want, you can grab additional materials just going in Add Materials and you can create your own material by providing specific color or putting textures or putting bumps uh, or normal and maybe cut out sim, uh, image. Also, you can change transparency, glossiness, reflection direct and reflection oblique. So these options is available here, here and if you want you can read additional in the help menu what are other options. And if you have pro version you can go to import materials and Autodesk Material Manager will pop up and in here you have a lot of uh, materials which are created by Autodesk and these materials um, in most cases are similar in AutoCAD, Revit, Inventor and, and uh, other Autodesk applications because we use the same material libraries and if you assign these materials uh, they should be recognized on other applications and your design can be uh, moved from one app to another one. So here we have uh, ground cover, metals, pa pavers, plastic, vinyl, roof, stone, textile, tiles, wall texture, water, wood, brick blocks, ceiling, concrete, asphalt, glass, glassing and you just select one, click import and it comes inside your in sketch. Now how to use materials? You just select a, a material if your object is a group so it automatically will color all the group. Of course if you want to change only the uh, some sides of the group so you should go to edit mode of a group by double clicking and you can assign the color to different uh, cube elements. If you have a mesh object you just select uh, material you want to assign and just click on object and it automatically, automatically assigns it to all the object. And also if you have uh, just simple format object so you can assign by coloring different parts or if you want to color all the object you click tab tab button and you just click color and object is nicely colored. Of course you should double check if all the sides are nicely colored. You just should move around, zoom out, zoom in and check if everything looks according to your design. As I mentioned you can create an additional materials so you can click add materials. So for creating material you should of course um, select correct naming for material and also select nice textures. So for naming I recommend to go to uh, Plannery and check out the material section, material naming convention. All the material should be named based on international ESO standard uh, 10456 and uh, additional Europe Union standards 1745 and 12524. So these are basic uh, material standards for basic materials. So in here you can see material names. So example plastic solid. So it has the density 
material generic name and manufacture and also material model so it means the standard which is the base so for material name uh, you should use combination of all these groups and if i go back to format so i should select material name based on this example and of course all the material names uh, or groups of material are provided in this standard building materials and products and of course in the standard you will find some uh, uh, parameters basic parameters of materials and you can buy it on your local standardization department uh, and students can access it through a university library for free and uh, for company use you need to uh, buy this standards so of course you can change the language and other settings and if you want to go and see in which category of standardization this standard belongs you can go from the from this group and go to the upper groups in this location so so this gr group is responsible for thermal insulation of the buildings including energy efficiency of the buildings so here are all the standards related to this energy and thermal insulation parts if i go up protection of and in buildings so we have another section and if i go up construction materials and buildings uh, so you can see all the parts in here and if i go up so this one is iso has developed over international standards and all are included in ISO standard catalogs and in here you can find needed catalog for your needs now another part is textures so for textures you should go um, I think one of best free location in which you can find nice textures is uh, SketchUp textures uh, so as I mentioned for me it is uh, alternatives for SketchUp so SketchUp is um, uh, quite long on the market and it has a lot of useful communities groups and pages in which you can find nice nice things and nice uh, materials so of course all the material uh, classification or naming should follow ISO standard but in all different locations you will see a little bit different structures of material libraries so here we have basic metals you can download metals uh, cardboards and you can use these pictures on your project of course you need to log in to get the image without watermarks and to have image the basic uh, resolution and if I am not mistaking if you need in high resolution of course you need maybe to uh, spend some money on, on these ones for students it's enough uh, basic resolution and of course uh, you can use the mat watermarks if uh, I think for student works it's not a problem okay let's go back so basic tips on materials you can use sample materials you can create your own materials you can import autodesk materials and you should follow some uh, rules um, international standards and use some nice textures from um, open source pages or um, forums or communities thanks for attention and till next bye